this, more breaking news. New details emerging uh, involving uh, the gunman who killed 12 people at the uh, city uh, offices in Virginia Beach, Virginia, before he was killed by police. And as Brian Todd is on the scene for us, Brian, we're learning more uh, about the resignation letter he submitted just before the attack. Right, Wolf, we've gotten copies of that resignation letter and other new information tonight about the shooter's situation at his workplace and new details and inside look at the running gun battle that unfolded in this building behind me. We have learned that one of the victims laid down his own life to save several others. We heard pop, pop, pop. Christy Dewar was in building two during Friday's mass shooting at the Virginia Beach City Government Complex. She describes a scene of panic. We all started running towards the south uh, exit, towards the south stairwell, and somebody screamed in front of us, it's too late, run the other way. She and some colleagues hid in a room, which the gunman approached. We locked the door and barricaded it. <sighs> we pushed a metal filing cabinet against the door, and no sooner than we had that done, Dwayne was at the office store that we were in, and he fired four times. Two of the bullets almost came through the back of the cabinet and left bulges and chipped paint from where they were trying to penetrate through. And we all fell to the ground. They survived in part because police officers arrived on scene in just two minutes to engage in a fierce gun battle with the suspect, Dwayne Craddock, a city employee. They were returning fire and at one point um, the suspect was firing through the door and through the wall at the officers. Police found two handguns, legally purchased in 2016 and 2018, plus extended magazines that hold extra ammunition and a sound suppressor. But no answers yet on a motive. Why would Dwayne Craddock go on a shooting rampage at the city government complex where he worked, killing 12 people? Authorities say he was not fired or in the process of being fired, but resigned earlier that day by email, betraying no signs of malice. Quote, it has been a pleasure to serve the city, but due to personal reasons, I must relieve my position. He had some issues in the past, just normal performance issues. Many of the issues that, that he had experienced in the past had been resolved, where he was doing a very good job. We're shocked. Not everyone realized their complex had been turned into a death trap. We passed by a gentleman that was carrying a gun in his hand, but it looked so theatrical because of the extended magazine and the suppressor that was on the end of it. I thought he was playing the part of an active shooter for our drill. Twelve victims being remembered tonight, and one of them, Ryan Keith Cox, being hailed as a hero for helping save lives. He led co-workers to a barricaded room as shots rang out, then went out to find others and never returned, according to Christy Dewar. I said, come on, and he said, I got to check on the other people, and he left us. Cox was always watching out for others, his ex-wife told CNN. He was very protective of family and friends, and would not think about dangerous things that happening to him, but he wanted to make sure that everybody else is safe. Key questions now that investigators are looking at tonight. Was the shooter targeting specific people, firing randomly, or a combination of both? At least two witnesses who were right there during the shooting now say that the shooter came very close to them, looked them right in the eye, and turned away. Wolf. Brian, you're also getting some new information about uh, the uh, massive first response just moments after the shooting started. Tell us about that. Right, Wolf. Our colleague David Shortell spoke to a senior emergency official today here in Virginia Beach. He said that 22 ambulances streamed into this complex right behind me in the moments after the shooting. They had 60 first responders here immediately. They, some of them went into the building, Wolf, as the shots were still being fired, risking their own lives, according to this official. Also learning tonight, this is still a massive crime scene. They've got teams of FBI agents, 40 agents in each team working 24-7 here. Brian Todd on the scene for us. Uh, thanks very much.